Um, something I've noticed is that um, I, I really don't think we're silent about the issue as much as, as um, used to be true about child sexual abuse. But, but my concern is that the conversations are way over here around um, extreme cases instead of, you know, where the work really needs to happen around preventing. And I'm wondering from, uh, from your perspective of, as the founder of Stop It Now and historically coming, you know, up through the years and then up till now, and what, what, um, what do you think Stop It Now did to change the conversation around child sexual abuse prevention? Stop It Now has had an incredible impact on this field, in, in my view, just looking at it across the, the 15 years since, since founding the organization. Uh, and, and a lot of that impact I even see in the last couple of years since, since I'm not actively here. And part, of, part of the reason I'm saying that is because when I originally thought about an idea like Stop It Now, and I, the early years of the organization, we were still locked in this old mindset that's, that sexual abuse is a, is a rare occurrence. Even if many people had shared the experience, because they weren't talking about it, it was thought of as just a very unusual phenomenon. Now, now just a decade and a half later, we have a totally different sense that sexual abuse is a widespread problem. Stop It Now is not responsible for all that awareness building, because there are a lot of other things that happened in this decade and a half. But the role that Stop It Now has played is saying we have to pay attention to prevention and we have to do it in a rigorous way. We can't just do it as a, as a programmatic idea that doesn't have some scientific basis to it, that doesn't have evaluation in terms of uh, the, the strategies that work and don't. And it's also had a really important impact, I think, in, in having us understand who is at most risk for this behavior. Let's make sure we're paying attention to those to the people who are at most risk for perpetrating this kind of behavior, and that we, we sensibly educate people who have a role to play in doing something, a direct role to play in doing something about it. In that regard, I think one of the main impacts of Stop It Now has been to enlarge the responsibility way beyond a child protecting themselves to having a, a much wider sense among, you know, parents directly, among people who know families, among people who share responsibilities in, in state and uh, even at the national level of governments. Um, we also have had a major impact, which is not a small one, of policy impact in terms of working with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. To have the U.S. CDC understand that child sexual abuse is an important public health issue within their violence framework, 